Shalom family. So I thought I'd share here just quickly again because <laughs> the closer we get to the pre-trib rapture of the church for which there is multiple passages and proofs in the word of God for exactly that. Um, the closer we get to it, the more the mid-trip, post-trip, no-tribbers get upset and angry and retaliate and attack. Again, you shall know a tree by its fruit. And you can have healthy discourse and disagreements on various things as long as it's not a salvation issue. We never have to act in anger and violence. The Bible tells us to work with humility and gentleness and love in our discourses with one another. So, again, you know these trees by their fruit. So I've had a couple of those now lately again on my channel that I've had to take off. But um, to give you an idea, the latest one, <laughs> uh, and I can only smile and laugh because you don't get to me, people. You don't. Um, how can you still be teaching this false pre trib narrative? It is so unbiblical and not from God. You are teaching from the pit of hell. It'll be your fault when the pre trib never takes place. And the tribulation starts and all the people that listen to you fall away from their faith and become godless and are lost to the kingdom. That blood will be on your hands. Okay. All right. Here's my opinion. And it is a strong opinion. And I'm going to give it again. I've given it many times in the past. And here we go. Firstly, let me start right on top. It is definitely pre-trip. Like it or lump it, it is. Biblical proof, Old Testament, New Testament, everything. Culture, wedding analogies, the lot. There's so much proof. It's there. It is pre-trip. I can make multiple videos just on that. So it is pre-trip. Let me just start with that. Now, to address those people. If it were mid-trip, post-trip, or no rapture at all, and we had to go through the seven-year period, do you know who's going to be the strongest and be able to handle what's coming? Those pre-tribbers who were watching. You know why? Because they were prepared. When the storm, the hurricane, sweeps into your neighborhood and you didn't know because you were at a party last night, drunk with your friends, you were having a blast and you were watching what the latest Hollywood celebrity ate for breakfast and posted on Instagram and suddenly the cyclone and tornadoes are tearing through your backyard. Those people are freaking out, losing everything, giving into hopelessness and depression and don't know what to do. They listen to the government. The ones who were doing storm watch and following and tracking and understanding and seeing what's going on and prepping for it and knowing what to do, those people are ready, regardless of how the storm comes through. Those people are helping their neighbors. So that's just a real world example based on the fact that we're experiencing things like beryl and nightmare storms all over the place right now so that you can understand what I'm getting at. What I'm getting at is if pre-trib was completely wrong, which it's not, but if it were, and we were going to mid-trip, I and the people on this channel that are pre-tribbers are the most prepared to go through the first half to mid-trip. Because we have been focused on getting oil in our vessels, Matthew 25. Uh, purifying our hearts, Daniel 12. Letting go of everything on earth and not looking back, Luke 17, like Lot's wife. Forgiving people for everything, Matthew 6. Washing in the water of the word daily so we don't have spot or wrinkle and we prepared, Ephesians 5. Praying for fellow believers and lukewarm Christians that they can repent and be saved and wake up, Revelation 3.16. How many have counted it loss for Christ to be our gain, Philippians. How many have repented of any traces of mocking or scoffing to Peter. How many have walked with God day by day, laid aside everything, put everything in the hands of Jesus Christ, listened to the Holy Spirit, and just sought a deeper, stronger relationship with Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. 
That is the people that you're talking about. They are qualified to go through to mid-trib, to go through the whole trip, and to probably make such a difference that the devil would have to put a restraining order on us and go and see God and say, what the heck, dude? These people are ruining my plans. So, the people who don't believe, who are invested in this world, who are not looking up, who are not focused on forgiveness, who are not washing their robes, who are not seeking oil in their lamps, who are not leaving everything behind and focusing on the kingdom of God, who are not trying to reach the lost, who are not doing all these things, who are not spending time in the word, who are not diving deeper into the Holy Spirit, who are not, those are the people who are at risk of totally losing their minds when the tribulation hits. Of being in chaos, seeking information or finding a way to understand what's happening. Not pre trivers people. So when they say things like that, I just smile. If anyone is prepared, it's the believers on this channel and other channels like this one that are watching and eagerly awaiting and most important, abiding in him. So there, <laughs> that's my thoughts on that. Uh, do not let them get you down. Pray for them. Shalom.